Hello everyone, Tim Vine here. Welcome to Board of Numbers, episode 10. We've reached double figures, finally. Um, and we've talked, haven't we, and learnt so much about the different numbers. And I think that the, well, you could argue the higher the number, the more the involvement. But I don't think that's true. I'm sorry to say, I think you will still, I say I'm sorry to say, it's a good thing because there's variety. There's variety in the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now ten. So let's talk about single ten, shall we? And single ten is, uh, well, let me hear you say, who are the neighbours of single ten? Who are the neighbours of single ten? Six and fifteen is the answer. And if you have a look at those two, you will notice that uh, the treble fifteen, for example, is higher than the treble ten. So there's a danger that you could slip into the treble fifteen and bust something if you were or going for treble 10, maybe not bust it, but let's suppose, imagine you're on 62, I've jumped ahead really, but if you're on 62, you go treble 10, but if you slip down into treble 15, now you're on 17, you'd have to tidy it up with a single one and a double eight. But there we are. So what would you do with the single 10? If you're on 50, you'd go single 10, double 20 is a possibility. Um, or you could go, obviously, single 18, double 16. Maybe the pros would prefer to go that way. But what you probably wouldn't do if you're on 60, in fact, you definitely wouldn't do, is go single 10 bull. You might in a pub, but the pro would never do that because there are ways of getting to doubles without going to the bull. Um, another way of using the single 10, perhaps if you're on 34, you'd split the shot. I don't know. I personally, in a pub, would go straight for double 17. But again, the pro, if he was a big fan of double 12, might split the shot if he was on 34 by going 10 to leave 24, which, of course, is double 12. Never seen it. Never, ever seen it. But you never know. Um, more likely is he'd split the shot if he was on 34 with a 2 for a 32 for double 16. And what about 42? Well, 42 is another shot which would involve single 10. You go 42, you go single 10 for double 16. Um, that's uh, got that great thing, hasn't it, the double 10, where, where it's next to the 6. Because the neighbours being the 6 and the 15, you have the 6 and the 10 next to each other. So if you're on 42, you go for the single 10 and you hit the 6, you're going to go straight for double 18, 36. Perhaps if you're on 42, you could split... Uh, well, actually, you wouldn't split that shot, would you? Probably. You'd, yeah, you'd just probably do the 10 or the 6. But I was going to say, if you're on, if you're on 26... Maybe then if you were, if, if again, if you absolutely loved, um, if you loved double eight and you hated double 13, perhaps you'd split 26 by going single 10, double eight. It's not beyond the realms. Never seen it. I've never seen it, but it could happen. 46, again, you go for the 10 or the six. And if you hit the 10, what are you on? Double 18. 46, single 10 leaves 36, double 18. So let's talk about the double. Where would you go for double 10? Well, Listen, when you're on 20, you go straight for it. And why wouldn't you? As I've often said, when you're on 20, go for double 10. And that's what the, the pro would do as well. Same for 29, you go 9, double 10. 23, you go 3, double 10. But those are the most obvious situations where you would go straight for double 10 and you would be aiming to leave yourself on it. The other situation, of course, is that you're going for double double top, and we've discussed this a few times, and now you're probably getting used to these different routes down, but you're on double top, and you hit single 20, now you're on double 10, um, and you hit single 10, you're on double five, but this is these are the routes, these are all pathways, and, and the more you listen to this podcast, and, and if you're a non-dart player and you've managed to get this far, perhaps you'll become more familiar now with some of these pathways that I'm describing to you. Um, so 62, I, I covered this a moment uh, earlier on, didn't I? If you're on 62, that's when you go for treble 10. Treble 10, double 16. That's the pro's route. I would say in almost every situation, that's what the pro would go for. Um, 66, treble 10, double 18. Again, that's a pro's favourite. Treble 10, double 18, if you're on 66. I can tell you this, personally, if I'm on 66, and I'm breaking away from talking about uh, the 10s here, but I am, when I'm on 66, I prefer treble 14 to leave double 12. For the simple reason that I prefer, if I miss that treble 14, and then on 52, then you can just go up to 12, hit the single 12, and then you're on double 20, I prefer that. But mainly, you know, the, two, the 10 is useful because it's one of what I call the friendly twins. The 10 and the 6 is one of the friendly twins. The pairs together where you just throw and there they are. And the 16 and the 8 are, of course, the other friendly twins. 
And then I'm, you know, I could expand and talk about the friendly uh, uh, quad, quadruplets, which are 7, 19, 3 and 17. Just the, the place you can go for clusters, where you can throw a dart and you're aiming at a group. You know, it's like lobbing a sausage roll to a group of friends on the street corner. One of them is going to get it. You don't necessarily want it to go to Nigel. You may not necessarily want it to go to Brian. As long as one of your friends gets it, that's fine because they said, you know, just chuck, chuck it over here. It's up to them at that point. So that's the great thing about uh, the the friendly twins. And 10 is one of them because it's with the other friendly twin, the six, the 10 and the six. So we've learned a bit about the 10 there. The main reason for treble 10, as I say, will always be 62 and 66. And the 10, the double 10 is... Uh, Often a very used double route down from double 20, much the same way as double eight is a very used double down from double 16. We're having lots of fun. That's it. That's the, pardon? No, no guests today. No guests today, but there will be guests at some point. I promise you that, listeners. And it's exciting. When it happens, when I've <clears throat> booked someone, it's going to be exciting. There we are. This episode is finished. Now.